Hello, welcome to Daily News from Marjaya TV. Daily meetings of Grand Chair Juris Ayatollah Shirazi. The Grand Chair Juris Ayatollah Sayyid Sadaq Hussein Shirazi hosts a variety of visitors on a daily basis, including scholars, clerics, religious and cultural figures, academics, seminary teachers, and public groups of believers from around the world. It is worth noting that these meetings are held at the Grand Juris Office in Holy Com in Iran at 11 a.m. every day. Officials at Al-Zahra Seminary meet with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. A group of officials and clerics from the Al-Zahra Islamic Seminary in Sad Township of Baghdad visited the Grand Chair Juris Ayatollah Shirazi at his central office in the holy city of Qom in Iran and listened to pieces of advices from his eminence. In this meeting, the Grand Jurist stated, The worldly life is a pathway, and we should not be obsessed with it. The noble hadith from the Holy Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon him, also highlight this idea and say that the Almighty God has not not even glanced once at this world after its creation. This hadith can tell us how the entire world is lowly placed in the sight of Almighty God, so we should not depend on it. The grand jurist then emphasized, the men of knowledge have a greater responsibility than other members of the society. We should make the best use of this life and adhere to the traditions of the holy Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. It is worth noting that at the end of this meeting, some clerics at this meeting received their religious turbans from the hands of the grand jurist. PR manager of Grand Jurist visits religious and cultural activists in London. Arif Nasrullah, the PR manager of Grand Shia Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi in Iraq, discussed strategies to improve on the services provided to pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, during his meeting with several cultural and religious activists in London, the capital of England. In this meeting, Mr. Nasrullah said, It is a great honor for all of us to serve the millions of pilgrims who visit the shrines of Imam Hussein and Hazrat Abbas, peace be upon them, around the year. However, we still believe that there must be more to be done for these pilgrims. He then added, We have limited resources and therefore, it is difficult to welcome the millions of pilgrims in Holy Kabbalah. Therefore, we have decided to discuss these issues in a panel which hosts members of Mawakib from London. We hope that we can improve on our services by adopting more advanced and modern methods in the future. Representative of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi visits Iraq's Union of Journalists in Najaf. Said Haydar al-Hajjar, one of the representatives of Grand Shia Juris Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Najaf, visited the Union of Journalists in this city. During this visit, Mr. al-Hajjar delivered the respects and instructions of the Grand Shia Juris to these Iraqi activists and emphasized on the promotion of public culture, particularly the Iraqi youth at this period. Shia Rice Watch releases monthly report of anti-Shiism. Shia Rice Watch, dependent to Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, released its monthly report of anti-Shiism. This report documents all acts of violence, discriminatory behaviors, and injustice practiced against Shia Muslims in different parts of the world. This report will be handed over to the international community, the international human rights organizations, and the public opinion. PR manager of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi at Imam Mahdi birthday celebration. Sheikh Ahmad Allami, the public relations manager of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Kadamiya, participated in the birthday celebrations of Imam Al Mahdi. May God hasten his reappearance in Baghdad, the capital of Iraq. This event was attended by groups of religious scholars, clerics, and representatives of Islamic jurists. Female religious activists hold conference on Mahdism. Coinciding with the birthday of Imam al-Mahdi, may God hasten his reappearance, the female religious activists at Islamic centers dependent to Grand Ayatollah Shirazi organized a conference on Mahdism in Holy Kabbalah. The conference began with the recitation of the Holy Quran and it continued with programs such as the signs of the end time when the Holy Savior reappears in the form of poetry, stories, and lectures. Karbala Islamic Seminary, Mawaddad Foundation, Imam Mahdi Community, and several other centers co-organized this event.